Tak, gracias, merci, bedankt, de, de, kuji, danke. Hey guys, welcome back to Honeyco. My name is Keo, and we're going to be reviewing this pair, the Air Jordan 11 Retro Gratitude. Now, first, I want to say thank you to Jordan Brand for blessing us with this pair. It is uh, beautiful and something I wanted since the pair that it was in tribute to came out. Uh, but I was not in a position to get those. Finally, I was able to get this pair. It's a little bit different and we'll go into that here in the v review section. If you want to see the unboxing, I'm going to put it at the end of this video. So we'll start with the review and then we have the unboxing at the end. So obviously, I've already unboxed it. So if you want to see that part, see it at the end of the video. But first, if you are enjoying our content, do click like and do subscribe to our channel. It makes a big deal. And leave a comment. If you picked up a pair and yours are as nice as this or you have some concerns, I'd love to hear about them. Leave them in the comment section down below. And with that, let's jump into the sneaker. The left and the right shoe are identical. They are pretty much the same. So I'm going to put this one down over here. And we're going to focus here on the left shoe so if you don't know this sneaker is very similar to a pair that came out many years ago uh, as part of a pack called the defining moments pack nicknamed the dmp pack and the dmp pack or defining moments pack were two jordans that started the three peats so they were the sneakers that were the first championship win in the two three peats that michael jordan and the bulls uh, went on in the early to mid 90s. I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense? Okay, it makes sense. All right. So the first shoe was the six. So you had the six, seven, eight. And then on his second run, uh, he, Michael Jordan took a hiatus. And then in his second run, he they won uh, with the 11s, the 12s, and the 13 slash 14, depends who you ask. Technically, it's the 14s, but really it was the 13s. Whole nother discussion. And so the only difference was they took the original silhouettes and then took the hits that were on or the alternate colors, the kind of the off colors on those sneakers and changed them to gold to symbolize victory or the Larry O'Brien trophy, which is made of gold, right? And so as you can see, the defining feature of the sneaker is on the back and that is the Jumpman in gold. And then it says 23 here on the back, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start talking about the sneaker from the bottom up. So we start with the traction. The traction is this milky white outsole with a slight tinge of yellow. So it does kind of complement the gold a little bit. It's more like an ecru and not like what you see with like vintage outsoles. It's not colored like piss. It's not colored like milk. It's colored like this very, very subtle ecru off-white and I am here for it. It's gorgeous. The pods are done in black. The traction on Jordan 11 has this wave bone pattern that runs from toe to heel. And then there are pods with very aggressive herringbone traction. As far as sneakers that you can still play basketball in, this is still a really good one, especially if you're playing outdoors because these are made more durable than modern basketball sneakers. They are heavier though. That is something that you do need to keep in mind if you are gonna use retro sneakers for playing basketball is that they are heavier, but as a result, they are more durable. So that's the outsole. Peeking out through the outsole, you see the jump man over there in white. And that is on the carbon fiber plate. So as we move up from the outsole to the midsole, you see this carbon fiber shank plate runs from about here, if I remember correctly, to around here on a Jordan, uh, on a Jordan 11. The shank plate on the original uh, Concord Jordan 11s was Concord or purple. So it was kind of tinged purple here and the pods were also purple. But on the DMP, it's kind of tinged, kind of champagne colored or gold colored, which I think is a very nice touch. The midsole is, I believe this is Phylon and that is standard in every way. It's white, almost all Air Jordan 11s come with that white midsole. And of course encapsulated inside of here is Zoom Air. So you have Zoom Air in the heel and in the forefoot, which makes this still very much a performance shoe if you need to, but you can use it for day to day, they are comfortable for walking around as a result of those of that feature. Moving up, you have kind of the defining moment 
uh, or the defining feature of the Air Jordan 11, and that is that patent leather. I'm gonna move it around so you can see just how shiny that patent leather is. Man, in the 90s, people would go to their proms uh, in these sneakers. They would wear these with suits, and you can't blame them because they do come across with a little bit more class. Uh, moving up, you have the heel section, which is done in leather. That's pretty standard. But then you come to like the new features on this particular sneaker, which is that they have replaced all of the Cordura mesh with leather. So this section here is in leather, and then the straps that go up for the laces are also in leather. Ooh. Leather's nice. Leather's nice. So before this was Cordura Mesh, this was Cordura Mesh, and then the tongue was also Cordura Mesh. Now for performance, that's great. It's a lot more breathable. Um, you have a lot more freedom of motion. There's a lot of strength and flexibility inside a Cordura Mesh, right? Which was great because that, you know, the whole point of the 11 was to contain Jordan's very aggressive movements on the basketball court. But as a retro, the leather, is actually really nice. It feels very sophisticated and very, very clean. I actually, I know it's a little bit sacrilegious. If you took away the history of the Jordan 11 Concord and you presented this and the Concord to me, I might pick this. I think that I like this one better than the original Concord. It is a great sneaker silhouette. Now, a few years ago, they did kind of a remaster on the Jordan 11s and they managed to get a lot of these shapes correct. And I do like the shape on this Jordan 11. You can see, I'm gonna take away the box here so you can see the silhouette. You can see over here, it's still, it's now very pointed as opposed to some of the previous retros which kind of ballooned here in the top. So very nice remastered shape. On the tongue, you have leather, rope laces going to the top, only one set of laces and regular lace tips on there. In the middle, it says uh, Jumpman Jordan, which is pretty standard. Is it the same on both shoes? Yep, Jumpman Jordan on both sneakers. And then we have the Jumpman in gold on the back. It's not made of metal in the way that the, the black ones were, but these ones, this one has kind of like a flexible Jumpman on it. And then on the heel, you have 23 in gold, which is a very nice touch. And the insole, Polyurethane insole, lovely, oh perfect. But Jordan 11's, the, the holiday release is always polyurethane. My wife's smiling, it's such a nerd moment whenever you see these nice insoles. And then here it says 23 on the insole. Is it the same on both sides? Yeah, it looks like it's the same on both sides. What's that? Sometimes they have different ones on different sneakers. Like it's one on the left side and a different one on the right side. Yeah. Why would they do it? Yeah. It's just cool. Just to put more storytelling. Oh, no, I'm talking about like the material. No, no, no like the design. The design. Okay. Not the material. The material is the same. Okay. And then on, on the back of the tongue, it says, thank you, quality basketball product created in gratitude by the greatest player ever. Thank you, thank you. Also, it's made by Michael Jordan in gratitude to us. So they're kind of implying that it's his idea. In terms of sizing, they do fit true to size just like any other Jordan 11. So if you have another pair of 11s, you can order them in the same size, which is true to size for most people. For me, it's true to size. If you are a wide footer, uh, you might want to go up half a size because of just the way that Jordan 11s are, are built. But if, if you are regularly buying your true size in Jordans, I would recommend that you do get your true size. Comfort level, they're as comfortable as Jordan 11s are, meaning that they're one of the most comfortable shoes from, what is that, uh, 20 year, 25 years ago. Uh, is it still the most comfortable sneaker? No. Are they still very comfortable? Yes. Uh, I think my the thing that, I, that keeps me from wearing Jordan 11s more, at least for tightening the, them up, is just this kind of heel section here, or not heel, this um, Achilles section here. This tends to be a little bit, um, it, it can push against your Achilles. Now they've made an effort, right? Designed by Tinker Hatfield. They have made an effort to make it soft here and increase the padding, but long days, 
thousands and thousands of steps that can get a little bit tiring. So my solution for that is I usually just leave my Jordan 11s very, very loosely tied, almost so you can slip them in like a booty. So that's our in-depth look at the sneaker itself. Quality uh, is 100% right there. For a big release, this is great. Do not sleep on this pair. Uh, they are coming out on sneakers in the Philippines. Uh, today is the second, so it's coming out on the fifth. So it's just a couple days from now. It will be coming out. Uh, I do recommend you try to get them. There are gonna be raffles with uh, Jordan, Manila, and Titan. So those are all great places to pick them up. Make sure you get an authentic pair. I think this is gonna be one of the biggest releases, not just of the year, but for Jordan 11s ever. Uh, it's just so, such a nice sneaker and so well made. I'm, I'm very happy to have a pair. Again, thank you to the guys who sent this over. And for those of you who wanna see the detailed unboxing of this sneaker, that's right here. All right, so we've got to the unboxing portion of the video and I wanted to unbox and go through a detailed unboxing of this sneaker because in case you guys want to know what it looks like when it comes to you in the mail or if you pick it up from the store or if you don't get it directly from a store, however you got it, make sure that it is packaged and delivered this way. Now, I did get my pair directly from Jordan Brand, so I want to thank them for sending it out to me. The Jordan 11 Gratitude comes in this black box with the gold Jumpman on top. Now, a lot of like Team Jordans or Women's Jordans come in a black box with the gold Jumpman on top, but this one is a bit different. It has kind of a satin finish to the top, and it does have a big flip top lid versus, I think they have the short flip top lid. Gold Jumpman on the top, on the front side, or I guess this is the left side of the box, hard to tell with the box. You yeah, have the 23 in gold. It's the same 23 that appears on the back of the sneaker. And then on back side, there's nothing. Other side, there's nothing. The left side label says Air Jordan 11 Retro in the white slash metallic gold dash black colorway. And then the pull ring or the breathability ring here is in gold as well. So very straightforward box, standard back. Let's flip it open. All right, in the reverse of the top of the box, it says thank you in gold. That's in metallic again. Nice touch. A relatively straightforward box, right? So not that much going on. Elegant, clean, oh. When you do open it up though, there's a gold Jumpman here. So that's kind of cool. It lines up the 23 and the Jumpman on the box. Again, very elegant, very elegant release. Now you have some special paper here. It is pretty see-through, but the paper has in multiple languages, I believe this is, thank you. Tac, gracias, merci, bedan. De du Kuji Danke. Uh, I don't see any Tagalog here, no Filipino. Come on, Jordan Brand. This is for one of your best stores. Jordan Manila is one of your best stores in the world. You gotta get some Tagalog in here soon. Thank you. I don't know. I might be wrong. If you guys find it on your box, leave it in the comment section down below. And fold that out. Here's a sneaker. Always a wonderful experience. And that's it. There's nothing else in the box. So that has been the unboxing of the Jordan 11 Gratitude. And that wraps up our video. So we had the review, the unboxing on foot. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you do enjoy it, make sure that you do follow our page and subscribe, it's the same thing, and click the like button and leave comments. Uh, I will try to answer your questions. I will be online all week. I have a bit of travel. I will be taking these with me, but I'd love to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below. All right, I wish you guys good luck, good health, good luck picking this sneaker up. 
Peace.